The fourth wave of COVID-19 hit Saskatchewan hard. On Monday, the province began transferring patients to Ontario. Infectious disease physician Dr. Alex Wong says it was inevitable. We know informal triage is happening at the bedside, having to make hard decisions again about who gets access to, you know, sort of resources and who does not. After repeatedly setting daily case count records, new infections have finally started to plateau, but ICU admissions keep going up. Wong says the province needs gathering size restrictions. On Monday, Saskatchewan's chief doctor agreed. I would certainly strongly recommend that this is the time when we think of all private gatherings in the home, keep them to a small, consistent two or three households only. Premier Scott Moe has repeatedly said he won't impose new restrictions. City councillors in Saskatoon, the provincial hotspot, are now exploring if they can create their own. The fact that, the, that we're the only jurisdiction that doesn't have gathering size restrictions, even Alberta does, it doesn't make sense to me. And things can still get worse. The COVID-19 viral load in Saskatoon's wastewater doubled since last week, up 109 percent. A toxicologist says Thanksgiving helped the virus spread. Hospitalizations lag a week to two weeks behind our numbers. So by the time people get sick, end up sick enough to be in the hospital and get diagnosed, takes some time. Saskatchewan has finally asked for federal help. Global News asked what exactly that means in terms of new frontline staff. The government only said it takes a strategic approach when it comes to resource requests. Wong says the fact that it comes weeks after healthcare workers started calling for aid shows politics are guiding the province's pandemic response. If there's no further action, then we're just kind of going to see how it goes. We're going to be on our own. And facing a harsh reality that could cost more lives. Nathaniel Dove, Global News, Saskatoon.